We begin our culture tour of Mackle Parish with a poem about a place where fairies dwell. Miss Cathy and Farragh lived in her retirement not far from the school. She lived at a cottage on, ter on the terrace in Glenmona, now Oban Cottage, where she died in 1974. She wrote poetry, humorous duologues and stories published in the 1950s and 60s in booklets with enchanting titles such as The Fairy Shores, Where Cool Girls Call, and By the Red Fuchsia Tree. Her dialect stories were published in the Ramsey Courier. To quote our own Mackle historian, the late Mrs. Constance Radcliffe, who wrote a history of Kirk Mackles in 1979, and who knew Miss Farragher well. In all her works, she expressed her affection for the Manx way of life, which has only just disappeared. Her kindly humour based on an acute observation of people, and her deep and abiding love of the island itself, and especially of Mackles. One of her poems, Carols by Candlelight, takes us through the ancient oaken door of Dune Church with guides and brownies, a candle in each hand for their carol service. But tonight, we're off to Balagos Glen. at the foot of the glen, where the white cascade of a waterfall drops down to the stream again. And the bluebell spread in a mantle gay, as far as the eye can see, and the primrose gleams in the soft light, neath the shade of the tall beech tree. sweet in a neighboring thorn, and the air is soft and still, as the slight salt tongue of the sea beyond wafts over the hill. Deep, deep lies the moss in its lush green bed, untouched by the dappled light, a fairy carpet its treasures hid from mortals' curious sight. are swaying to and fro, stirred by the feet of fairy folk, pitter-pattering two by two. Dear little people in coats of blue with caps of red and gold, see through the haze of our spellbound gaze as the rising sun grows old.
hands down the river bank to sing the songbirds' lilting tune. They drift across by the stepping stones, bow low, and they are gone.